This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 3rd, 2016. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Our trough in the upper atmosphere has become established over the eastern half of the country, as we've been talking about for the last several days, and that has uh, provided some rather cool air across the southeastern United States. In the meantime, at the surface, we have high pressure centered over the Dakotas. That is allowing a good northerly flow all the way from southern Canada all the way down into the southeastern United States. So this morning, temperatures a bit chilly. Most locations uh, basically in in the vicinity of the freezing mark. Across much of central Alabama, it looks like the clouds help to hold us just at or slightly above freezing, while in the Tennessee River Valley, there were fewer clouds and they dipped to just below freezing. But it looks like the chilly weather will stay with us along with uh, the uh, dry weather as well. We do have a mix of sun and clouds across the, the area for today, as you can see from the satellite image. So uh, look for at least a little bit of warming today. The uh, QPF, Quantitative Precipitation Forecast, shows that uh, we are expecting by early Friday morning to see some rain. Most of that rain is expected to come Thursday into, and into early Friday. So it looks like the uh, first part of the week ahead should be dry. The Storm Prediction Center has no thunderstorms forecast for anywhere in the United States, in the continental United States. On uh, day two, we do see that there's uh, some thunder possible over the southwestern United States. And then on day three, we see some at the southern tip of Florida, as well as South Texas and the southwestern United States. All right, let's take a look at the 06A GFS model run this morning. And uh, there's our surface map for today. And once again, if you follow those isobars, you see that the, the flow into North Alabama is coming all the way from southern Canada. That flow more or less stays that way as it goes a little bit more northeasterly on Monday but that will still keep us rather cool. And then on Tuesday, high pressure manages to move over to the vicinity of Ohio and Pennsylvania, and that will help our surface flow to come around to the east. So we should uh, begin a little bit uh, of a warming trend on Tuesday. In the meantime, in the upper atmosphere, the trough that has brought us the cold weather for the first part of the week has moved off the Atlantic coast, and we're coming under a ridge as we see southwesterly flow uh, is beginning to develop just to our uh, west. By Wednesday, uh, we are firmly established in that southwesterly flow, and we have a little bit of a uh, upper air trough coming across uh, the central Mississippi River Valley. And uh, while that may be associated with some showers up that direction, it looks like we should stay dry on Wednesday as our flow at the surface remains out of the east and southeast. But you can see that moisture is certainly returning in the low levels across the lower Mississippi River Valley. That trough moves up into the Great Lakes, and another one begins to come out on Thursday. So it looks like uh, Thursday is going to be the day that we turn wet, probably starting the day out dry with uh, showers and rain likely in the afternoon and into the evening hours. And uh, with the upper uh, air pattern showing that trough coming out of the southwestern United States on Friday, looks like we'll see a bit of a wet day across the much of the southeastern United States with the surface low over uh, the central Mississippi River Valley moving off to the northeast. The uh, upper trough moves on quickly uh, into the Ohio uh, Valley River Valley area as well as the eastern Great Lakes. We stay in a southwesterly flow, so that means that uh, while the rain should end uh, across the area, uh, we dry out at least from the aspect of rain. It does look like the clouds will probably stick in tough with that southwesterly flow allowing moisture to come into the area out of the Pacific. Now, the another trough comes across uh, as we head out into voodoo country. This is Sunday. Uh, the 10th of January, and we see another trough coming across. That one will probably come across uh, dry if the GFS is right about the atmosphere drying out. Uh, and so uh, we shouldn't see much in the way of uh, any rain, but we will likely see clouds. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, the GFS has a real change coming around the 12th of January. This is midday as we see a very uh, sharp trough developing in the central United States. And looking at the temperatures associated with that, uh, this is the uh, 850 millibar temp temperatures and the anomaly of those temperatures. That purple area are values on the order of 17 to 20 degrees centigrade below 
what we typically see for this time of year. So, could that mean something in the way of winter weather mischief? Yes, it could. We'll have to wait and see. It's too far out to be that uh, specific about it, but we'll certainly watch that feature. By the 15th of January, the flow has become sort of zonal, not exactly zonal. Zonal meaning, meaning a direct west to east flow, but this is a little bit northwest to a little bit southeast, but the flow pretty zonal with no real uh, wiggles in the flow. But we see a short wave around the 16th coming in uh, across the central Mississippi River Valley, so that spells another possibility of some wet weather for the southeastern United States. And then we see around January the 18th, we see an upper ridge over the eastern half of the country. So that certainly shows no uh, real extreme temperatures by that particular time. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. I want to thank again the folks up at Piedmont for having Megan and I out to uh, help with the mayor's polar plunge, raising money for Venetia's foundation to help people with cancer. Uh, certainly appreciated chatting with everybody and had a great time. Megan even jumped in, but I was much smarter than that. Plus, somebody had to take the pictures. Uh, James Spann's expected back with first thing on Monday morning as he comes back from vacation, full of vim and vigor and ready to go. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great Sunday and Godspeed.